babies, welcome to my channel, Donna P. House. Today, I'm going to do a review on multi-purpose cleaning paste. I bought this from Dollar Tree. And it looks like this. It's a, a pink consistency. And then, this is the top to it. So, as you see in my apartment, I have an electrical stove. And for some reason or another, I can't take the knobs off, which frustrates the hell out of me. So what I do is I'll take an old toothbrush that I've had, and I no longer want to use it in my mouth. So I'll, I'll clean it real good, and I'll use it like for cleaning or for cleaning my sneakers or whatever. So I'll take an old bowl. This just happened to be a chip dip bowl. And I'll run some hot water from the faucet and fill the bowl up. So that's what I just did. I filled this bowl up with hot water. And then I take this cleaning paste. I dip my toothbrush in the, in the bowl of water. And I take this cleaning paste. And I pull it out with the brush. And then I scrub the top of my stove and the knobs. I, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I couldn't possibly tell you. Because this is the first time I've lived in an apartment or a house with an electrical stove. So I have to do what I have to do. So I'm just scrubbing the sides of the knob and at the bottom of the knob with this cleaning paste. And then I scrub in, the, in between the knobs of the cleaning paste, of the stove with the cleaning paste. Because to me, it really cleans the knobs real good. When I clean my stove, I like to clean it all the way around. I like to spray it with some oven cleaner and clean it. I like to take the eyes out and clean the eyes when I'm doing dishes. And I like cleaning my knobs. Because you know, sometimes when you cook it, you might have food residue on your hand, or your hands might be wet, or whatever the case might be, and you need to clean your knobs. I don't know. I, I truly, truly don't know why I can't get the knobs off my stove, but that's what I'm doing. And I also have a spot that's in the handles. And I'm going to rub the toothbrush down the groove of the handles and scrub the handle, as you see, with this clean paste. I need to really get it together. So I like the way this cleaning paste works with this toothbrush. Where I can get into real small areas and uh, clean with it. And this is what I'm using to clean the groove, as I said, and my knife. And then I'll go right back and run me some hot water on my handy dandy dish rag. And squeeze it out and wipe it down with this dish rag. And if it's any spots that I've missed or I wasn't able to get the way I want to get it, then I can go over it again with the with the toothbrush and with the um. paste and really clean it. 
And then I scrubbed the top of the stove. I still got product on my toothbrush. So I'll scrub the top of the stove and keep it pushing. I just wanted to show you what I do with this cleaning paste from Dollar Tree. I believe this jar is going to last me for a very long time because I don't get into the groove of the handles that much. I will be doing more. And then the other part of the stove, I will be hitting it off with some oven cleaning. And there I have it. So if you want something to scrub your stove with, this is a seven ounce uh, tub or jar or whatever you want to call it. And I really like the way it helps to keep my stove clean. So if you've tried multi-purpose cleaning paste, that's good for your kitchen, your bathroom, laundry room, indoors and outdoors. It's only $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So pick it up and let me know what you think about it. And if you've tried it, positive and negative opinions are always welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always know when I'm uploading. Give me a thumbs up and share my video with your family and friends and leave me a comment. This is just a new discovery that I found because I bought it because this was going viral on YouTube. Everybody had it. All the influencers had it and I wanted to try it out. And when I got it, I didn't know what I was going to use it for. So I waited a while before I did this video. But I started playing with it last night, and I liked it, the outcome, so I wanted to bring it to you, because in these times, it's good to be frugal. Until next time, I'll see you later.